Get the Kubra Mantra for your iPhone or mobile device at jasongalant.ca. I think everyone at some point in their life avoids this. And, and what it is, is they avoid making mistakes. But when you think back on your life, everything that you have done involves some sort of learning. There's really no way to avoid mistakes. If anything, it's a requirement. Right? When you first learn how to tie your shoes, you, know, you don't do it perfect the first time. Nor do you ride a bicycle and not fall down a few times while you're doing it. And I think a lot of adults actually forget this. They start to look back on the successful moments in their life and they remember only success, but not what it took to get there. You know, teenagers are the same, you know, they, they start to get, that's when the ego starts to come forward and starts to say, hey, look what I did. I'm a man or a woman now and, you know, I have things figured out and, and that's where we get caught, right? Because now you're like, okay, I've got a, a perfect score now in this life game. I want to make sure I don't mess this up. But once you start embracing mistakes, once you start embracing the fact that mistakes happen, there is no way to avoid them, and then you start to become free to live. You, know, you start to become free to explore. And free is the operative word here. Because you're no longer imprisoned by the avoidance of making a mistake. You know, you learn from mistakes, you evolve from mistakes, and not all mistakes are mistakes, they just perhaps don't produce the goal that you want in that moment, but they're not really mistakes, they're just adventures, you could say. Even some of the worst mistakes can be looked at as adventures. There are some people that have committed very heinous crimes, you know, and. Uh, some people would say they're unforgivable on some level. But sometimes those people would say that those mistakes led them to a much deeper level of understanding of themselves, a deeper level of understanding of their own internal suffering and how to work with it. And yes, sometimes that learning goes beyond this life. So ultimately, you cannot avoid life if you do it leads to misery. And life and mistakes are pretty much the same thing. That's what I've learned. You can't, you can't avoid them. Who you are never changes, even though this vehicle, this body, starts walking around and, and sometimes does things well, sometimes does things not so well. Perhaps this body makes a mistake or falls down and then sometimes it runs or skates or dances quite well. And that's the thing, you know, you're here to enjoy the adventure, but not here to perfect it. Again, people get caught up in that too. They have an idea of what a perfect life would be, and they say, that's the way it should look. But this is another prison. It's another form of imprisonment, and it will not allow you to smile freely. Your smile will always be guarded because you're waiting for the shoe to drop, so to speak. <laughs> you're waiting for your perfect little life to fall apart, and then, then what, right? Everything comes and goes in life, everything, including you. So instead of trying to hold on to it, start enjoying it. Stop trying to be perfect. Just be yourself. And that's enough. Especially if you are in relationship with what is inside you. If you're allowing those things to be there without judgment. Then some new forms of play will emerge. And just because you don't meet somebody's expectations, that doesn't mean that you aren't perfect the way you are. You know, some of us are traveling in different directions. 
One person's traveling to India, another person's traveling to Germany. And just because one person's traveling to one place doesn't mean that they are less perfect or more perfect than you. There's just some action going on. So I hope this helps. Take care for now.